Greetings, people of Earth, Mr. Proctor here, and in this one, we're going to talk about how to make a blender render for your planetarium or just do a fisheye render. And to do that, we're going to change a few things in the settings. So I'm going to click on this uh, DSLR camera thing here. I'm going to change EV to Cycles. Cycles has a built-in fisheye render. If you have a fancy pants graphics card you want to use to have Cycles do your computing, you can change to that. Although in my case, I'm going to stick with CPU. Uh, let's see, down here in the render settings, I like to give the, the output render a time limit. And this can be increased to increase the quality of your render. And denoise is currently turned on. I'm going to leave that on for now. Uh, under light paths, I like to use the, you can click here and get a uh, fast global illumination preset. And that also performs quite nicely for most of what I do. We're going to go to the output properties now. And my planetarium is 1536 by 1536. And we work at 30 FPS. Your planetarium might be different. That's OK. I like to make the frame range uh, go to about 1,000. That's also changeable later. And the output, I like to change that to slash slash frames slash frame underscore. What that does is that makes a directory called frames, and inside there, everything will be named frame or whatever. Uh, lately, I will sometimes change these names uh, just to match whatever scene I'm working on. Uh, but the main thing is, is when you have that double slash, it, uh, it will create this directory right next to wherever you save your Blender file. So your frames will be right there in your file system right next to it. Uh, let's see, a lot of times I'll use JPEGs just while I'm messing around, but I might use something more serious like OpenEXR uh, once I'm ready to do final renders. Next, I'm going to click on my camera. Going to go, going to, go to the camera settings. And we need to change that from a perspective camera to panoramic. And as long as you have turned on cycles, you should have fisheye options here. Uh, so fisheye equidistant is what we use in the planetarium dome. And the field of view normally is 180, but you might want to change that depending on your needs. Let's do a render now and see how it looks. So I have a fisheye image, and the background is gray, which I don't necessarily like in the dome because it Makes, puts a lot of extra light up there. But, and then my subject, this cube, is, is right up front, or excuse me, right up top of the dome. The center of the image is the top of your dome. So if you want it in front of the audience, you want to put your stuff down in the front. And so we want to tip that camera backward, but it helps to have a visual reference. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust my uh, work area here. I'm going to do a right click, horizontal split, That'll preserve my outliner. Then on this one, I'm going to change that to a 3D viewport. I am going to go to the camera. Just roll in there like that. Tap the Z key. Go to render, preview. And up here, I'm going to roll my scroll wheel to go off to the side. I'm going to turn off these viewport overlays, which gets rid of the grid and stuff. Now. When I rotate this camera, I'll use the local space. Local coordinate system's handy for this kind of thing. If I rotate the camera now, I can see my preview over here. And finally, let's turn off the, that gray background. Let's make it black in the world settings. You can also uh, click a, here on this yellow thing and go to an environment texture. So you might have a star map or something you want to put back there. If it's equirectangular, it'll work there as an environment texture. And that will also uh, put light into your scene if you want to. You can also uh, change the strength of it. So once you have this happy, we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Defaults and Save Startup File. And click one more time. Now, when I quit Blender and go back to it, 
I am set up, except for I need, just need to come up here and activate my render preview. You can tap Z for that or, or roll your scroll wheel and, and get it right up here. And so that is how we do fisheye rendering in Blender.